Ready? Let's do it. All right. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies coming to you with the Lafroy 10 year. Just the regular 10, nothing special here. They're standard smoky PD. Test it! <laughs> Go on, test it. That's perfect. <laughs> All right. So here we go. You gonna try another one just in case? Oh, that's the winner. Winner, winner, mm. chicken dinner. All right. Boom. All right, we're back now. Look at that. This is Lefroig 10. Now, oddly enough, we had tried like six other Lefroigs before we ever went and actually, well, back up. We've never reviewed the 10. We have not. We've reviewed we every did not. other one. We did not realize it until we were shooting the Lefroig shootout. Yeah which had seven Lefroigs in it. Go watch that. That that came out a couple weeks ago yes. on September 10th, uh, yeah. episode number 219. Right, so 219, and then we're like, you know what, we've never actually done a standalone review with the 10, we got to. But we had the 10 year cast, well we had this one, we had the 10 year cast strength, we had the quarter cast. Yes. Select. Boom. Triple wood. Yes. Uh, 15 year. 200 anniversary green barrel. 18 year. Boom. Was that it? And this one was yep. seven? Yep. And uh, so we know what, what else we're planning to do, and it's going to come out soon, is we wanted to do a versus. You've seen one of our verses already uh, with the McAllen 12s. We're going to do a versus between the Lefroig 10 and the Ardbeg 10 because it calls for it. They're both the, the heavyweight hitters in the PD smoke room. Well, and sometimes we you, we even reference it. We're having something where we're like, well, Lefroig's got this cigarette smoke. Art Bag is a different kind of like a barbecue or a wood smoke. And let's try it. We'll do them side by side and see right. what happens. Now, some housekeeping stuff before we get into the individual tasting. The contest continues. Yes, it's going to run all month. House, wait a minute. Housekeeping stuff. Housekeeping. Just taking care of the business. We're well, not on the review here, but just a little bit of like housekeeping. how to keep stuff clean. Yeah, we're keeping the show clean by bringing up a little bit of housekeeping on this, that, and the other. It's odd. Okay, it's odd maybe that was an improper uh, <laughs> use of housekeeping. <laughs> we are doing a contest. Deverone, there's an empty bottle in here. We can't ship the uh, spirit, but there's a watch that comes in this media pack and a real nice Glencairn and a little secret yep. compass. Uh, um, uh, memory stick in there that's a media pack for more details on the giveaway which is occurring on, on october 1st of 2016 uh watch the king or the mm -hmm. dalmore king alexander review yes if you want to know have good details of what's in that box watch the devron calm from the storm yeah uh unboxing we do a full unboxing so you can see what you can win here please just you got to subscribe to the youtube show and then send us an email all those details are in that uh and that Devron review. Uh, also, tomorrow, this is, we're, we're pre-recording this, but tomorrow we're doing a live show with Bobby Childs. Yes, on September 25th of 2016. Yes. We just started doing, this was a goal of ours, to do live streaming with other, you know, insiders, other people in the industry. And some fans, maybe. Here and fans. Yeah. This was um, one of our big goals for 2016. Um, the only thing we're navigating right now is we had to use Google Hangouts. That is switching as of, um, well, prior to the live show. We're going to have to navigate how this is changing with YouTube. Yes. So hopefully there's no technical difficulties. But September, Saturday, or Sunday, September 25th, uh, 10 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Tune in to our channel. We'll have a live stream going. We'll be tasting barrel bourbon with Bobby Childs from mm -hmm. Louisiana. You can also uh, uh, follow us on Twitter because we will tweet this information out as it comes closer and you can get more details there. So come follow us on Twitter. Please subscribe. You can check us out on Facebook. That's probably a whole nother deal. That's my job and I don't do as good a job of keeping that up to date. I apologize. All right. First of all, do I like the frog? You love it. Yeah, I love it. So um, telling you my bias right off the bat, I love Lefroig. I love the smokiness. I love the peat. I love the green bottle. I love the, the white can. If you love it, you should marry it. It's illegal in 28 states. <laughs> and this is one of them. And this is one of them. You can't marry a can of Lefroig. <laughs> <laughs> now, when we did the tasting, or the, uh, the shootout with the seven Lefroigs. This was the first one we did. It had been quite a while since I had it. Me too. 
Um, and it used to be early on, and, and Pete's still not my favorite. I still prefer Sherry's, but early on when I had this, it was Pete and hmm. Pete only, and that was all I got. The way you sounded that was funny. I, I, I don't, I, I prefer Sherry over Pete. Sounds like a girl yes. named Sherry and a guy named Pete. Yes. Just saying, sounded interesting. Go yes. ahead, sorry. Yes. I'm weird. <laughs> <clears throat> but when we, so when we sat down at the shootout with this first one, when I first had it, a definite sweetness was coming out yeah. along with that smoke. I would have told you before the Lefroy 10 year was Pete and Pete only, mm -hmm. and that was it. But yeah. there is a sweetness in here. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat. That's one of the now, real, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. That's one of the real cool things with our shootouts is we get a whole family of similar type spirit. In this case, we had seven different Lefroy's. And you are exactly right. I'm a huge fan. One of my favorites, if not my favorite bottle of whiskey, Scotch whiskey, is the Cast Strength, Cast Strength 10 year Lefroy. And I hadn't come back to this in probably a couple of years I haven't tried. Oh, really? Yeah, and I even remembered it being not as refined. And then here we have it in this lineup of seven. Again, go watch the shootout and you'll even see I get excited and I'm a little bit of a JA and he attacks me. Little go watch that. Little conflict. We're occurs. brothers. It's like we're brothers. All right. So coming back to this after having all these special Lefroigs, I'm just going to tell you, I was amazed. Go ahead. Uh, on the nose, there is that that's, that citrus sweetness is in there, uh, an earthy peatness. It's amazing. All right, how do they do this? How do they take that peat smoke, yet keep it with this sweet, like you you've called it great. It's almost like a it's a citrus sweetness, but not a strong citrus. No. It has. I almost can't pin it down. The sweetness kind of hits me in the back underneath my tongue, almost like how if I anticipated something tart, like a sweet tart. And the smell is just delicious. The peat, the sweetness, it's all wrapped in there together and it's a 10 year. I still get an ashiness to the peat. I mean, more like, you know, wood ashes or cigarette ashes campfire mm -hmm. type smoke it's, it's a honeyed sweetness that's mm -hmm. in there with it and there's a lot more than I had remembered and maybe that's because time is I mean we, we've done several peatids in between then and now um, and I've had several now where I do get other notes along with the peat and I was just surprised when we sat down here's the standard 10-year Lefroy and this sweetness was coming out with the smoke what a strong contender um, you're exactly right. I get the the campfire type ashiness on the beginning, the first burst of flavor. And then it it morphs. It gets enveloped in sweetness. It leaves me this wonderful mouth coating. So much that it's almost like there's a ringing in my head. Yes. <laughs> but it then trails off, leaving nothing bitter. Almost with a hint of the woodiness. And then what I love about the peats is that long, long finish. I can do a little bit of circular breathing now, 40, 50 seconds in, and I'm still picking up a little bit. It's back to that first flavor, a little bit of the ash, the earthy peaty, and it just hangs there. I can still smell it. I can still taste it. But now all the sweetness is gone and it's smooth and it's subtle again and it's peat. And it is a phenomenal 10 year whiskey. Nuttiness. I get a definite nuttiness. Yeah. Almost like a peanut. Yeah. And it's what I... Salted peanut. Okay. And it's what I love in scotch in general is that long flavor the multiple transitions starting me off here, flipping me on my head and going 180 with the sweetness, and then it slowly See, comes I thought you back. Were gonna go starting me off here, flipping me off here. That's what I thought you was <laughs> No, you usually flip me off here. Yeah. But I mean, 
it's it's just a delicious tenure. Their whole range is good, and I still love the cash strength because that higher ABV, but the cash strength is, is a stronger alcohol feel to it. This one carries with it a lot more subtleties, and I think the ABV is 43. 43%. Yeah. 43% alcohol Which is, by volume. Some markets get a 40% bottling of this yeah. from, from, our, from when we did the shootout and some of the comments that were coming in. And in the seven bottle shootout that we did, the standard 10 year really holds up well. It, it did. Of the seven, the, the standard 10 year, the triple wood, and the 18 year were three of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just looking, I wanted to go see because I can tell you. Mm. Um, the quarter, uh, I'm back to the quarter cask. I was gonna see where we did because the it cask was one of our first ones, it was, was in our top first. 10. I thought, I thought it was in the top 10 range, and th it's so different now to me, right? We're, we're getting more a refined couple, a couple of years later, and I've had more scotches and I've had more peated scotches. Mm -hmm. I can tell you. The cask strength and the quarter cask were very offensive to me. Oh, I didn't care. Oh, early you on, you said, yeah, early on when we did them, and I was like, Ugh, are we doing a Lafroy? <laughs> well, in the quarter cask, smaller caskings give you more of the oak woodiness when you're trying it. And I got to tell you again, even as we do these, when I can try them together like that, um, I can just really say, wow, look at this to that. Um, and I'm hoping that some of the great value that we can impart to you. Um, a lot of people aren't going to have all seven bottles or eight or nine. I think somebody told me there's nine in the, uh, uh, the range. At least, at, at least. least. But when we had seven together and you can really say, how does this stand to this and this to this? I'm with you. The triple wood stood out. Uh, the cast strength still stands strong. This with the cast strength next to it was a great comparison. I like the 18, but as it ages longer, some of the peat kind of feathers away, and I actually love the peat up front. Well, I, can I think, and I couldn't find the, the cask strength just cruising through our, our reviews, but the, the Freud quarter cask we did on June 27th of 2014. Wow. We so a little over, little over two years ago. Yeah. But... And, and like I say, the little Froigs and the Peets were very offensive to me. I didn't care for them. This is, I, I like this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we're three years in, we're refined. We've had upwards of 300 different scotches probably by now. Mm -hmm. So we're really got a bigger volume that we're comparing against. Uh, I'm still leaning way more toward the peat head. Um, you know, I love my peat, um, but I am just telling you for the price of the Lefroy tenure, well, we'll get into it. We'll get into, is it worth it? We're not quite at that segment yet. Um, I'm I'm giving this an 89. I mean, it is so, yeah. it, 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 it's good. For their entry level tenure, I'm giving it a 92. I mean, we are up there. Now, again, I've already told you my bias. I love Lefroix. My favorite top one or two right now is Lefroix Cast Strength. This is in my top 10 of ever. I love it. And it's a 92 for me. And I'll even tell you, before the shootout, I would have never thought of having Lefroig around. And we started off with this, and when I got in there, I, I, I could see me going and picking up a bottle of this and having it mm -hmm. at the house and going to it once in a while. Yeah. Um, I particularly, I think the Freugs, <laughs> there's a blizzard blowing, it's December, the fire's going. Are you wrapped up in a blanket? Yeah, I'm wrapped up in a blanket, I'm near it, it's chilly outside, it's harsh, it's mean, and I pour a dram of this, and I sit there with some quiet music going, the house is quiet, everybody's asleep, my gosh, I'm in heaven, okay, I, I love this now there, okay. i just found our cast strength and it was actually it was just a week or no it was a year later mm. it was a july of 15. Mm. so just over a year ago now we did so we did the the quarter cast two years ago the cast strength was a year ago oh, that's why i couldn't find it because there was it was in there right um and the price Spread point out. on these i mean i just missed a sale on this and i think i again having this i need to go stock up and just have them there um i'm with you 
someone comes over and as long as they're you know I'll usually let them try something um, like a Glen Kinchy or a Dalwini if they're a little bit nervous about scotch and then after that I'll tell them do you want to try try something with a little peat um, and if they do a little peat <laughs> there's still a lot of peat <laughs> there is a lot okay I'll tell a lot of peat do you want to try, try this or yeah. the peat monster mm -hmm. and I'll let them know hey you're going into this and um, and sometimes they're like, whoa, that is too much. Or sometimes they're like, wow. Um, I had my boss over here along with some other coworkers, and uh, she loved the peat flavor more than some of the other ones. Uh, so, I mean, just- Now, is she know. a whiskey drinker though, right? She even had that much before. Not as much. That's why I was surprised. And, mm -hmm. and uh, she picked up on a lot of the subtleties kind of right Which away. Which one do you remember? She, I think, went and bought the cast strength. I, I might have let him try the cast drink. It was the final one. I just did a three bottle tasting. We'd had a real, uh, not rough week, but a very intense week of work. And I invited all the coworkers over here from the office to just come over afterward. And I told them, hey, you know, I brought out the cast drink. This is my favorite. You may not like the Lefroy cast drink, but at least try a little bit of it, water it down if necessary. And uh, it ended up being her favorite. So um, I haven't even put water in this. I'm going to be honest with you. I I know this dram, and I don't like water in it as much. I, I like did. to take I put a, a drop in there. So did it change there's, much for no, you with the drop? Uh -uh. Okay. No. Um, all right. Back to some housekeeping. No. Is it worth it? Oh yeah. Sorry, you're right. And I think normally you're talking fifty dollar range here. Yeah. It was on. Well, did they did they didn't have the ten year on sale? They did they? actually. They was had the ten year and the cast strength on sale. In and the thirties. Think it was like yeah thirty six ninety nine. I was like wow. I'm, even at fifty, yeah, it's worth it. Um, and like I say, I'd, I'd even consider picking up a bottle. Well, and after the shootout, I know the liquor store has a bottle of the three wood or mm. the triple wood in there. I've been thinking about picking that up as well. Yeah. Um, so. I mean, it, it's it's one of, I would say the Freud line and the Ardbeg line are your standard bearers for Pete. There are many others out there, but they bring it, they're strong, and we are going to do a versus Ardbeg 10 to Lefroig 10, and I can't wait for that to have them next to each other and see how they compare head to head. Let's um, do it. Again, uh, check out the live shows. Uh, we're trying to do those uh, kind of every other Sunday. Uh, those are fun. Um, do thumb us. We love the comments. Please subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Um, and if you feel like helping out the show, the pointing means I'm supposed to say scotch it, but go to Patreon and then scotch it, you scotch guy. Salancha. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs> Tell me you start doing this. Say it. Say it. Say oh, it. Oh, and, and. Say and, it. And. Housekeeping. Oh, yeah. And. Say it. And. <laughs> and oh and one more thing and <laughs>